good morning and happy Sabbath. I hope you are having a most beautiful day because it is sunny and nice out. Well, it's a little warm, but it's nice out nonetheless. Today I want to read you a story, and it comes from Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40. That's Matthew 25, verses 34 through 40. And if you would like to follow along, you are more than welcome to do so. And it reads, Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And at this point, I can see the king just shaking his head inside and going, Oh, my children, you are so dense. <laughs> oh, don't you get it? But the story is not over yet. Verse 40 explains everything. And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. This is a beautiful verse. Do you know what it means? It means that if anyone has a need, if they're hungry, if they need drink, clothing, company, food, anything, it is our responsibility to take care of that. So, for instance, if you see someone at school who doesn't really have a lunch, share part of your lunch with them. If they're cold and all they have is a light cardigan, share your jacket with them. If they're lonely, give them a call or text them. Or even better, send them a card in the mail. Everybody loves to receive cards. So God in this story is telling us, if you see a need, fill it. Because everybody has a need. And it's important as Christians, our job is to make sure that we take care of those needs. So I encourage you today to take the time out of your busy schedule, your busy summer schedule, to take the time to understand other people's needs and to fill it, because that is so very important, because God asked us to do so. I hope that you have a beautiful day and that your Sabbath is truly blessed. Amen.